Hello, my name is Kevin Hemphill, and I'm an R&D scientist at Horizon Discovery. Today, I will be presenting some work showing our successful synthesis and validation of a long chemically modified MS2 guide RNA for use in CRISPR applications, such as the CRISPR activation SAM system. Using synthetic guides for CRISPR activation studies can be especially beneficial for either individual HIT validation or array screening with no cloning, sequencing, or in vitro transcription required. To begin with a brief overview, CRISPR activation is a repurposing of the CRISPR-Cas system, where a dead or deactivated Cas9 is brought to a transcriptional start site by a guide RNA complex consisting of the CRISPR RNA and the tracer RNA. In addition, transcriptional activators are brought to this DNA target site either through fusion with DCAS9 alone, in the case of the VPR activation system, or through fusion with DCAS9 and an MS2 coat protein, in the case of the SAM activation system. In order to bring this MS2 coat protein activator fusion to the start site, MS2 aptamer sequences must be incorporated into the guide RNA. Previously, the system has relied on guides containing two MS2 aptamers and have been expressed either as plasmid or through lentiviral integration. Because of the added MS2 sequence requirements, chemically synthesized guides of this length have been hard to produce. At Horizon Discovery, we have used chemistries and processes developed over decades of research for the efficient, cost-effective, and high-throughput synthesis of guide RNAs containing either one or two MS2 aptamers at different regions of the CRISPR RNA and tracer RNA complex. We found that a tracer RNA containing just one MS2 aptamer on the second stem loop is able to produce the highest level of transcriptional activation when used with CRISPR-A CRISPR RNA in the same system. We have validated this 104 nucleotide long MS2 tracer RNA or SAM tracer RNA both through UPLC and mass spec analyses. For a 70 micromole synthesis scale, we are able to obtain the full length product containing the desired target mass and with high purity. In order to then functionally validate this new guide RNA, we transfected the SAM tracer RNA and various MS2 tracer RNA designs with the CRISPR-A CRISPR RNA targeting transcriptional start sites for several genes of interest. Post-transfection, gene activation was measured by RTQPCR and can also be assessed by Western blots and immunofluorescence analysis. We measured gene activation for six different gene targets across several cell lines, stably expressing the activation complex components of the same system, and saw that CRISPR RNA complexed with the same tracer RNA were able to achieve very high levels of transcriptional fold activation. For targets that have low endogenous gene expression levels, such as Titan, we were able to achieve between one and 10,000 fold activation, while targets that tend to have higher endogenous expression levels, such as EGFR, we were still able to see over 15 fold levels of activation. We next compared activation levels resulting from this synthetic guide system to the currently available two by MS2 guides that are expressed either as plasmid or through lentiviral integration. We tested three different gene targets for activation in a few cell lines and saw that the, this synthetic guide approach with one aptamer actually produces similar or in some cases higher levels of activation than the expressed guides. We then took our analysis a step further by pooling together multiple CRISPR RNAs with the SAM tracer RNA before transfecting into cells. These edit R CRISPR-A CRISPR RNAs incorporate the Wiseman Lab algorithm that take into account chromatin, position, and sequence features to accurately predict highly effective DNA target sites. We see that by providing multiple of these CRISPR RNAs to the same target gene, we can further enhance transcriptional activation levels. As a final validation step, we compared activation of six gene targets with CRISPR RNA and SAM tracer RNA in cells stably expressing the SAM system versus CRISPR RNA complex with a regular, no MS2 containing tracer RNA in cells stably expressing the VPR system, another of the major second generation CRISPR-A systems. 
we saw that activation levels tend to be fairly similar in both systems and only very slightly depending on gene target. In conclusion, we have been able to successfully synthesize and validate a long chemically modified MS2 guide RNA for use in the CRISPR-A SAM system. We have also demonstrated the power of using synthetic guides for CRISPR-A, which can be especially beneficial for either individual HIT validation or array screening with no cloning, sequencing, or in vitro transcription required.